Now that we've rolled our base coat on the surface and mixed our glazes, we're ready to roll. Now this technique is a ragging off technique. And if you're doing a large surface area, it really is the most effective way is to work with two people. That way you can have one person apply the glaze and the other remove it with the cotton rag. So for this, I'm inviting my friend Amber back to do another technique with me. And she's actually going to take and roll on the glaze again. So Amber, why don't you go ahead and do that? Amber's paying close attention to rolling her glaze very evenly and consistently. And she's not going to go too far along the wall so that I can't keep up when I'm doing the ragging off technique. Once she's done a few rows of applying the glaze, then I'm ready to follow behind her using my cotton rag. So in order to get a proper impression on the wall, the best way to do it is folding the cotton rag properly. The best way to do this is to hold it up, grab it by one corner, and reach your hand down below and kind of let it fold back and forth across your hand into a ball. That way, the folds that you see left will leave the impression of the rag painting on the surface. So every time you refold the rag, you'll have a different impression. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this and start removing the glaze. I'm going to take my hand and begin by making an impression on the surface. Then I'm going to make sure that I'm rotating. Notice my hand is going right to left, right to left, back and forth so that I have a rotational viewpoint on the wall. And at any given point, if your rag becomes overly saturated with paint, refold it. And you can keep doing this until your rag is completely saturated and you can use a new rag at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm rotating quickly back and forth. It's kind of more of a pouncing effect. Refolding. Back and forth, creating my look. This is a very sophisticated look. It looks wonderful in all different types of rooms. It's also rich with color when the glaze is on top of the base coat. And it's an all-time favorite for many faux finishers. When I get almost up to where Amber has applied all of the glaze, I'm going to leave an area open so she can overlap her glaze and continue on. While she's still rolling her glaze, I'm going to follow right behind her, pouncing away and refolding my rag making a nice transition. See that line there? I'm kind of making it go away just by going back and forth using my rag. You get nice variation. If you look on the wall, you should see lighter and darker areas. It's a very sophisticated look. So that's ragging off using a cotton rag. And it was a lot of fun not only doing the faux finish, but having Amber here to help me. Thanks a lot, Amber, again, for your assistance. And I hope you have fun doing rag painting in your home.